What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is some exciting news for all those Samsung Galaxy watch users out there. Samsung has started rolling out One UI Watch 5.0 beta for the Galaxy Watch 4, Watch 4 Classic, Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro in the US and Korea regions. Rest of the regions will have to wait. For now, it's only available in US and Korea. If you are staying in US and Korea, you will be able to experience all these new features which are on One UI 5 beta. To enroll yourself, all you need to do is go to Samsung Members application. On the top, you will see all these banners. One of the banners will be the invite for One UI Watch Beta. Just tap on that and follow the prompt. But before downloading, be aware that there will be some bugs in the first beta, so you can probably delay the installation of the beta for at least a couple of days to see whether it's functioning fine or not. Unfortunately, this is not available in my region, but I'm expecting to see the beta version of One UI Watch 5 very soon. As soon as I get it, I will be installing it and let you know my feedback about all the features and stability on the device. For now, this update seems to be quite exciting. I picked up a few screenshots of the change log on Sam Mobile, and the change log talks about loads of features which are quite exciting. Let me just quickly take you through all these new features coming to One UI Watch 5. First one is about the watch faces and tiles. We can add watch faces and tiles more easily now. A new vertical layout makes it easier to find the watch faces and tiles that are right for you. So now we have got an all new vertical layout, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we have got improved buds controller tile. Now we have got quick access to timers. You can start timers from the new timer tile without opening the timer application. So if you use timers more often, you will get a quick access on the tiles. Then it says set an album or story as your watch face. Instead of just one picture, you can now make your watch face cycle between pictures in an album or story that you select. Your watch face will change to a different picture each time you turn on the watch screen. <laughs> that is pretty cool, isn't it? You'll be able to see some basic information like time and date, etc. And you will see the entire album or story which will keep changing in the background. Then as far as Samsung Health is concerned, we have got automatic recording of cycling workouts. We are going to get heart rate guidance during running workouts. We will see that in detail as soon as I get the update on my watch. Now we have got another header here, backup and restore. It says keep your watch data safe. Files and data from your watch are periodically backed up to your phone when it's connected to your watch. You can also save backups to Samsung Cloud. Your phone needs the latest version of the Smart Switch app to use this feature. Now, I'm not sure whether this feature will enable us to connect the watch to a new device without resetting it. That's one thing which is pretty annoying. Every time you reconnect the watch to the phone, we will have to perform a factory reset. That is something which they should fix with this all new update. Then we have got control your phone, more call controls. You now have more control over calls without touching your phone. You can adjust the call volume, mute sound and press buttons on the keypad all from your watch. That sounds interesting. Then we have got additional changes. Dictate text with the home button. Just press and hold the home button anytime you are entering text with Samsung keyboard to instantly switch to voice input. Then we have got use multiple timers at once. You can now have up to 20 timers running at the same time to help keep track of all your tasks. Share your medical information in an emergency. A button to access your medical info will appear automatically when a hard fall is detected or when you press the home button five times to start emergency SOS feature. So here is some focus on the safety features. Then we have got an all new device care option now on the watch. We can check the status of the watch's battery, storage and memory and immediately fix any problems to extend battery life and keep your watch running smoothly. This is something which is already available on the phone under device care and same is being added on the watch as well. Then we have control your watch without touching it. This is pretty interesting. It says universal gestures let you control your watch without touching the screen or pressing a button. You can assign various actions to gestures such as shaking your wrist, making a fist or pinching your fingers. This particular feature was already existing, but we are going to get more options to control the watch now with this all new update. Then we have got organize applications in folders. Create folders to keep your apps organized so you can find the applications you need quickly with less scrolling. Now again, this is something really cool. We can now create folders. If you've got many applications on your phone, you can put them under folders so that it is easy to search or access them on the watch. This will be pretty useful because the watch screen is pretty small. It definitely becomes a little difficult to search the applications and when we get these folder options it will be much much easier i feel this update is going to be worth it there are some amazing features which are being added and i would say for a watch os update this is pretty big let me know what do you think about it drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel as soon as i get the beta version i will be installing it and i'll share the features with you guys and explain you how exactly they work 
So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button to become a part of Apex community. And yeah, give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.